Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. The best way to give a gift to your kids is to combine learning with play. Lakeshore Learning is sponsoring today's holiday gift guide video, plus we have a pretty awesome giveaway. I'm gonna show you some things that combine learning and play at the same time and would make excellent gifts for your kids. These are the Touch and Learn Picture Card Library. It's for ages 12 months and up. There are 40 tactile cards inside this box and it is such a fun find. They have these little dividing tabs inside for all the different sections. And so this one says things I wear, in the park, animals I see, things at home. And the last one is at the beach. I'm gonna take them out just to give you an idea of what they are. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that Lakeshore Learning will also include a little guide inside to give you some activity ideas. So it's always really cool to read through that because you might find a way to use the materials in a way that you maybe hadn't thought of before. So I do like looking through those little guidebooks here. So we have things to wear first. And what we have are cards and they also color coordinate. So all the things to wear are in purple and then all the other ones have different color coding too. And then they have vocabulary with pictures and little touch space on here. So this one is a dress and the dress has this kind of little satin feel to it. We have a sweater, which feels like a sweater material. Mittens, feels like mittens, pants, feels like denim. So as you can see, each card has a unique texture to that item, plus the vocabulary word here on the bottom. So you can also work on language. If you turn it over on the back, there'll be a couple of sentences here. This shirt has short sleeves. Look at the stripes on the shirt. Are you wearing stripes today? These are really great guided questions already done for you on the back of every single one of these cards. The hat says, some hats keep us warm. This hat keeps the sun off your face. Let's feel the hat. And it really kind of guides your conversation. So that's a pretty neat feature about these because it takes it one step further. Here's in the park. What is the boy doing? What is the bird doing? How does the swing feel? Can you describe how that feels? How many wheels does the tricycle have? Oh, here's the squirrel. What does the squirrel have in his hand? You can put all of these cards out and say, can you show me the mirror? Can you point to the door? Can you show me the sink? So you can use them for a little bit more of an extension that way. So this one is the things in our house. And then let me show you at the beach, which is my personal favorite because I like the beach. Oh, the sandcastle, very rough. So a lot of sensorial play on this one. And you might find that your child doesn't like to touch all the textures, which is totally fine. And you might find that the child loves some certain textures versus the other. The crab is adorable. And then one other, we have animals. I see snake, tiger, elephant, lion, a personal favorite, monkey, dog rabbit and turtle and then they all store right back in this little storage box which I personally love so you can keep them all together this is for 12 months and up and there is a lot of potential in this little box a lot of fun and language development in it and I love that sensory component I mean you really can't go wrong with all those little touching spots on those cards to include the sensory plus some other subjects here. So we have math. This is the double-sided magnetic number tiles. It's for ages three and up. There are 40 magnetic tiles in here. What I like is that these are double-sided. So you have the four different colors and they all have the numbers on them on one side. So here's a four. And on the other side, there is the quantity that matches the math symbol. So you have four here and then the four dots here, which is a really Really great way to reinforce what those symbols mean by showing them the quantity. Not only that is that you have another, here's another four over here, for example. So you can do some matching up with the symbol and the number quantity this way. Putting these numbers in order is another way to use these. So if you take them all out, let me do all the blue here. So we have all the blue ones out and so we can put these in correct number line order if we're learning how to count and do our sequencing. And they also are magnetic. 
magnetics, as I said before, so they do stick together. So that's a fun way to use them. You can also take one out and have your child fill in the blank of which number is missing in this little number sequence here. You can even flip them over and have them do it by quantity and have some fun at number play math games that way. If your kids are like my kids, <laughs> they just love anything magnetic, you will find them just building like crazy. Make a little cube here, a little math cube. And if you have a light table, bonus points for you because they are translucent here around the edges and they'd be amazing on a light table. Also great in a sensory bin, putting these little numbers into a sensory bin because they're a great tactile thing to explore. So when we do sensory bins, we have the bin, we have the base, and we have a manipulative and these would be a really great manipulative that's still sensorial by putting that together and then with that learning component too. I think I'm having way too much fun with this. Just love how things are so versatile. Simple addition problems too. Two plus one, use the quantity, makes what? Three. Okay, let's find the symbol for three or the quantity for three. So when I'm looking for things for my kids, you guys, especially for the holidays, if I can combine learning and play into one and I can extend it past a couple of different skill levels, that is like a bonus. So that's why I chose this one because I really thought that it fit all of those different criteria that I have when looking for gifts for children. Plus, I do have to say, I also enjoy building with this set myself. So if I like it, chances are my kids are going to like it too. Moving on to language, I have this amazing set. It's called the I Can Build Simple Words. It's for ages four and up, and here's how it looks. But when you open it up, this is just the cover. You get this really cool caddy with all of our materials. So we have one little drawer here for each short vowel sound. And each side of these drawers, I'll turn it on its side here so you can get a look. There are 150 color-coded foam letters. So here's our red letters. We have a V, we have an S, we have an A, there's a T. We got them for the orange in here too because I had it on its side. They're all moved in. We have the orange and blue, green, and in the bottom one here, we have the purple and all of the cards. Now, you know me, I like a good storage container. So the fact that this comes all set up in this nice little package, yeah, it's a big... It's a big yes on my list. Okay, so we have our little drawers here. Set those aside. You saw me pull out all of these little cards. These are 50 double-sided word cards. There are 10 for each short vowel sound and they are color-coded so they go with the correct drawers. So you can just match up which ones go with which. And there are two skill levels on each one of these cards. So here, let's go through the A's. So I've got my CVC ones here. So my consonant, vowel, consonant, fan, jam, pan. When I flip these over, it has the actual word on here. So they are self-checking cards. Here is our CVC with our missing first consonant, van, cat, hat, map. And then here's with our ending consonant, tag, can, and gas. So if you're just starting off with these cards, I would recommend starting off with the full letter. So this is the first skill level. I'm gonna grab out that, those red letters here. And there are enough letters in my box here to do the whole word. So let me find my letter and they just match up right on top, P, A, N. So they have the picture clue here and they can build the word on their own with the letters provided. You can turn the card over and have them fill in the missing letter, or you can have them go ahead and build out the whole word, whichever is their preference. And they can work every single one of these cards in that fashion. A cool thing about this is, is if you're just working on one vowel sound, you can just pick out that set to work on. So you don't get overwhelmed with all the other vowel sounds that are available. Maybe they're struggling with one vowel sound and they need help with that one in particular, then you can also focus on that one. Our orange set is working on the E sound, the short E sound, and we have 10 cards for that one too. Once again, double-sided. You can also use these alphabet sets and other activities too. Just take them over and build words with all of the letters, sequencing the alphabet with them. So I like that with Lakeshore, you can take one piece from one of their items and use it in a completely different item and something that you come up with on your own. 
alone. The creativity is so great with these materials that once you kind of get a few items from Lakeshore, they all kind of work together and can be used in different ways. I've been using Lakeshore Learning for quite a while now. And if you've watched a lot of my videos, you will see that I'm constantly pulling bits and pieces from some other item that I have from them and using it with something else in a new and different way. And I just think that's fabulous because it makes it really worth your dollar when you are investing in some of these really high quality materials. I know I'm having a giveaway, but I also have a coupon code for Lakeshore Learning to use and you can use it online or in person at their store. So if there's something that you find that is not on sale because it's for a non-sale item, then you're going to need to use that coupon. So that's going to be in the description box because you're definitely going to want to take advantage of that. For the kids that are six years or older, I have some fun motorized robots. They're called Rebots, and I have three different styles here. I think they are just so cute and adorable. You build them and make motorized robots. So we have different kits here. This one over here says it has 12 pieces in it. It's called Pogo, and it's the Jammin' Jumpin' robot. So once you build it and motorize it, it's going to move on you. There's actually four in the set. And then we have this one that has 13 pieces. It's called Half pipe the shredding skater robot and this one is 26 pieces a little bit more complicated it's called scoots the cranky crawling robot and then the one i'm not showing you on here is called knock and that one is also available in the set these are super creative pogo the jamming jumping robot it says it springs into action it's made from tracks of an old snowmobile a waffle iron and some rubber bands pogo does a demonstration of how springs work and motors in action and when he's all built he jumps half pipe the shredding skater robot uses an umbrella and a broom to propel itself forward half pipe demonstrates the use of wheels cams and motors in action and uses that broom and to push forward and get some speed Scoots the cranky crawling robot is cobbled together from two halves of an old pirate ship wheel. So cute. And it scoots along the floor on a repurposed iron and snow ski. Scoots demonstrates wheels, slider cranks, and motors in action. And it will use its wheels to help push it across the floor. The reason I picked these kits is because it's simple robotics, very simplistic STEM skills, but fun and cute all at the same time. And when they're done building, they actually get a result and they can see all of their work in action right away. And of course, because the best way to combine learning is with play, we're giving away a $100 gift card so you can choose which Lakeshore item you would like to gift someone special in your life. First of all, make sure you are subscribed to the Purple Alphabet YouTube channel. Then leave me a comment down below. Tell me which one was your favorite, what you would spend that gift card on. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. It's in the description box. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. I'll announce the winners right Right after Thanksgiving, the following video after Thanksgiving so you can know if you have a little bit of shopping money to use. Don't forget to watch the other holiday gift guide videos because every single gift guide has a giveaway in it. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.